So which is better? This KTM Duke 890R or the Ducati Hypermotard? It's a bloody good question. I've been lucky enough to ride both these bikes recently. Not back to back, so it's hard to draw exact comparisons, but I did ride both bikes in exactly the same locations with pretty similar conditions. So I've got a pretty good feel of how they compare directly to each other. On the face of it, they're both kind of hooligan-y road bikes. They're both 120-ish horsepower, and they're both 185-ish kilos, and actually similar price. Ducati's 11 grand, this is nearly 11 grand. So on paper, yeah, this probably has the edge on weight, power and price, but it's in the ballpark. And they should be pretty similar bikes based on everything when you look at them. They actually really couldn't be more different. I think the biggest thing is you have to remember these bikes are totally different engines. They're both twin cylinders, but this is a parallel twin. Two cylinders going up and down like that. That looks awful when I do that. The Ducati is a V-twin, so cylinders kind of pointing in different directions. That might not sound like it should make a huge difference, but that dictates a lot about a bike. Parallel twins could be much more compact, much more tightly packed around the bike, and a V-twin takes up a lot more space, so the bike changes its shape to fit that. Secondly, the way they deliver their power, the parallel twins and the V-twins are kind of not polar opposite power delivery, but a V-twin loves to make its power down low, loves to make torque, and has that kind of booming engine note that feels like you can drive from anywhere. Parallel twins traditionally like to rev a bit more. Again, there's a lot of mucking around with different crank, set, crank setups that, that affects how a parallel twin makes its power. So this isn't a particularly revvy parallel twin, but it does make less sort of oomph off the throttle than you get when you're riding the Hypermotard. That makes the riding experience a very different thing. This thing is smooth, there's no step in the power. It's really, really soft when you come on the throttle, but then when you go hard on the throttle, the power builds and it comes. The Ducati always feels to me very instant. The minute you touch the gas, it's chomping at the bit and trying to pop the front wheel out and, and run away from you. The chassis again, couldn't be more different. This is a sports bike. This is a sports bike with slightly longer suspension travel, but that's exactly what it feels like to ride. It's like a really good compliant road sports bike. The Ducati is, it's a supermoto, I think. It's tall, it's got much more suspension travel and it feels it, you sit right up on top of it. When you're sat on the Ducati, you can't see anything in front of you other than road and scenery. And you really do feel like you're on a more of a supermoto style bike. You're sat tall on top of it and it rides like that. If you're braking hard into the corners and pitching it in, it works really well and it's good fun. If you're kind of just rolling along casually, sometimes it does feel a bit tall and you're kind of sat up away from the tires a bit. It's not a positive or a negative thing particularly, it's just a very different feeling to this. This feels more like a normal sports bike with wide handlebars. And so it depends what sort of a riding experience you're after. If you're in the city, black between traffic lights, the Hypermotard is an absolute blast. If you're looking for a sports bike really, but you want something with wide bars that's a bit more comfortable, then maybe the Duke's a better bet for you. In terms of the equipment the bikes have got on, yeah, it's amazing. Now, 11 grand might still seem like a lot of money for a bike to some people, but when you look at the spectrum of bike prices, these are kind of cheaper mid-range bikes, and they've got everything you'd expect on them. They've got quick shifters up and down. They've got traction control that's adjustable. They've got really good ABS systems. They've got TFT dashes that have got everything you could ever want to know on them. Like, the, the, the kit on the bikes is it's awesome. Um, and there's not really anything to choose between the Ducati and the KTM in terms of their equipment that offers the rider. Which brings me down to how do they feel to ride? Honestly, this is easy to ride. I love the Ducati. I've ridden the 950, the 950 SP and the new 950 RVE. And I love that Hypermotard and it's a really good fun thing. But hands down, the Duke 890 is an easier bike to ride. It just feels natural when you got on it. The clutch is a little bit lighter. The throttle's a little bit more predictable. The bike feels lighter. I think that's because it's lower, so you don't feel like you're perched so high on top of it like you do with the Ducati. But it's definitely an easier bike to ride. And that translates into a little bit more comfortable to ride quick on the road on it. And if you're mucking around doing stunts, it's a little easier to get on with there.
Sounds like I'm being a bit down on the Ducati here. I'm not, it's just a different thing. The Ducati is, I don't want to use the phrase, it's a typical Ducati, but <laughs> I'm going to do everything I can not to say that. The Ducati is a different engine, so it's a nice drive EV twin, lots of torque, lots of power, great for throttle on wheelies. Weirdly, it's a bit more of a hooligan bike than this, which given the two companies, you'd have always picked the KTM as the hooligan, but weirdly the Ducati is a little bit more of a bike that wants to be wheelied and thrashed and jumped. This will do all that, but this is quite happy going slow, whereas the Hypermotard, it never feels natural going slow on it. It wants to be thrashed around, hooned on, and it wants you to be childish. So if you're newer to biking and maybe less confident, this is the better bike for you. If you're a little bit more experienced and looking for something that's just a little bit more fun, and a little bit more childish, get your leg over one of those Ducatis and give it a go. Now, I can't tell you which of the two to buy. If it was me sat here right now, I'm, it's a close run thing, but I'm wavering towards the Duke 90. It's just a little bit more rounded and it does something that I miss really well. It does fast, fun road rides brilliantly. And right now that's something that I'd really like out of a bike. A lot of the stuff I ride is either stupidly fast or stupid like the Indian. Love it, but it's stupid. And this is just a brilliant road bike. And right now, I think this is the bike I'd take over the Hypermotard SP. However, if I could have both, I could ride that every day and then I could just have a Ducati to look at and do wheelies on at the weekend. That'd be ace.